Greetings and welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football. Dennis Kometi speaking. Well, I can understand why the players don't like to travel, but it is great to be back in Adelaide. Half the seats are filled. I think that's as good as it's going to get. My ally in the box for this match will be Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dan. Today should be a good match. Hitting the turf today will be Port Adelaide and the Saints. and killed it burst out onto the ground and boy did they look fresh the fans should be in store for a ripper banners ready for the players We have the toss of the coin. The Saints win the toss. Round three. A diet of interstate travel for... The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait, but I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. Look at the players, Richo. They look ready for this one. That's true, Dan. The ball in the hands of Gilbert. Homsk with the tap, guided by Jonas. Jonas kicking the skin off that one. Dunstan got under it. Puts boot to ball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Chip kick along the way. The contest, no match for him. That drop punt works well for me. Dixon picks up the bouncing ball. He's missed it. Point the difference. He looks for a man on the lead. A kick to himself. And play on by Stevenson. Dropped by Savage. Cleary making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. A lovely drop punt. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Hartlett with the football. He receives the handball. The ball spills to Sinclair. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Great mark. Long arm. He's a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Robert and boots it. Geary takes a contested mark. Slams it on the boot. Good eye marks on the run. Send the top in, big fella. Nice mark under pressure. Gresham sends the ball on its way. Good tap from Boak. Burn Jones picks up the loose ball. He gives the ball away. He gets a kick out of the pack. Great mark under pressure. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Ebert. Ebert is good, but he doesn't always find that best option. Rolling congestion. He slams that on the boot. Dunstan with the kick. Powell Pepper takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Knee, just the better man in that contest. He boots it. Akers with the mark. Akers sends one up towards the wing. The contest, no match for him. Gresham with the kick. Billings with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. A spearing kick from Pittard. Jonas claims the ball. A low stabbing kick. Wines gets the upper hand. A lovely drop punt. Ebert grabs that one. He spears the ball. Almost a mark, but it bounces off his chest. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Picked up under pressure. Dunstan throws it clear as day. Takes that one strongly. Need a long way out. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He steers it out of the defensive 50. Pal Pepper looking to make them pay for that turnover. Takes that one strongly. Pollock on a 30-degree angle right here. Pollock pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. That's his first.
That replay shows just how good that goal was. Smiles all round. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. Burn Jones, it's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He gets boot to the ball. He wins the contested mark. He slams that on the boot. A good contested mark there. Gresham puts his boot on it. Armitage takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Burn Jones. Looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Over the top of the pack. Booted by Stephen. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Look, the Saints haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Burn Jones boots it. Boat takes the mark. He boots it. Webster with the mark. Gresham laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Gives it to Armitage. He's really a ball magnet. He's out of room, and he has to cross the boundary. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Longer directs it down. Deft touch from Gresham. He gets a kick out of the pack. The ball over the line. The umpire's throw is a good one. Hit by Longer. Billings with the tap. Yunsk with the mighty fist. He kicks it long. Great mark over the pack. And the ball goes out of bounds. The throw is accurate. Long had got the hit out. Controlled by Boak. Nice interception. Bumps the pigskin. Jonas claims it. Bumps the pigskin. Over the top of the pack. The power could bypassing their forward targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside forward 50. He gets boot to the ball. Gresham with the mark. Puts boot to ball. He gets it under pressure. Ebert kicks the ball. Strong mark there. Walks it across the ground. Wins the hard ball. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Burn Jones slams it on the boot. Richo, now with his stats. Both teams fairly close in the handball. Let's go back to the action. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Long attacks. Gilbert with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Long it hits it. The loose ball picked up by Gilbert. They've conceded possession. Burn Jones is able to grab it on the half volley. Wins the hard ball. Low kick. No one troubling him there. 45 metres out. Pollock kicks for goal. Pinpoint accuracy from Pollock. He's bagged a couple now. But Adelaide leads by 13. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. He's excited about that one. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Long at a class above, I expect he'll continue to dominate Burn Jones. Deft touch from Watts. Guided by Bakers. Armitage with the tap. He controls the bouncing ball. Ball up in the center square. Longer. Got a really good footballing brain. He handballs it. Burn Jones kicks it. He gets it under pressure. 
Gray shoots for goal. Tap by Webster. Ross taps it. Good tap from Longer. The ball is hammered towards goal by Broadbent. Picked up the ball, has it now, takes possession. Umpire calls for the ball. Burn Jones. is a class above, I expect he'll continue to dominate longer. Stephen with the mark. Well, St Kilda haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Robert and boots it. What with the tap? Tapped by Longer. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Gilbert taps. Gilbert with the tap. Sinclair aims for his man on the ground. Depth touch from Geary. The ball is socket. Batted down nicely by Tartlett. What with the tap? Nunes taps. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Close to goal. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. Long as a class above, I expect he'll continue to dominate Burn Jones. Slams it on the boot. An easy grab for Gilbert. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Gilbert thumps the ball for goal. What a goal from a mammoth kick. St Kilda get there first. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Very happy with that kick. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Burn Jones knocks it down the field. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Longer taps it. Clean tap by Jonas. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Boots it. A mark by Billings. Billings. He's been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He gets boot to the ball. Sinclair just wanted it more then. The ball is slammed towards goal by Sinclair. The Saints won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. Hartlett looking for a lead. Jonas gets it on the bounce. Gets boot to high. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Wines kicking the ball free of the pack. Great grab. A stab kick from Cleary. That was all both. Boats really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Puts boot to ball. Good mark. He slams that on the boot. He wins the contested mark. Pollock will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. Pollock did well then. Three of the best he's putting on a clinic. The power with a two-goal margin at the moment. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Hit by Burn Jones. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Voke gets the ball. Dishes it off by hand. Going for goal number one. A oh, tough break. Good Adelaide over. The Saints by 13. Stevens just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Sending it on its way, Burn Jones with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Gray getting into position for the kick. Gray has a kick. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Dixon gets the tap. Well, Adelaide starting to exert some dominance over the Saints with a lead of 21 to 7. He's searching for his teammates. 
tapped by Broadbent. Eamon guides it. Good tap from Webster. Akers taps. Long at there to mop it up. Lovely hand pass hits the man. He's racking up possessions. Gilbert's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He lines it up with the goal. Geary goes for home. Nunes kicks for goal. Score for the Saints. St Kilda trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. His face says it all. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Punch by Longer. Armitage onto the ball. Was that for Gilbert? Guided by Geary. Guided down nicely by Nunes. Sinclair guides it. Puts boot to ball. Oh, you beauty. What a kick, son. What a kick. Nunes gets number two. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Long it with a big fist on it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Armitage feeds it wide. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Richo, what do the stats tell us? Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contests, 15 to 7. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. It's half time, which means I can take a breather. The halftime break is over now, back to work. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you are a loser or a winner. Burn Jones shoots off the handball. Pollock hammers the ball for goal. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. The power by three points. Looks like he'll go out wide. Webster sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Dunstan kicks it forward. Akers wins the marking contest. Akers can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. He taps the ball. Wines gets it off the ground. He knocks it down. He slams that on the boot. Sinclair controls. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Wins the hard ball. Kicks it. Pollock having no trouble taking that one. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Looking for another goal here. I'm lost for words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richo? That was one of the worst shots at goal I've ever seen. Stevens has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him but he just needs to react a little faster. Akers puts his boot on it. The mark will be paid. Armitage slams the ball to his boot. Jams it on the boot. Out of bounds near the 50. The Ruckman battle it out. Guided by Burn Jones. Robertson just stopping for a quick dance. Jams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. 
plays the pig. Ebert takes it well. Ebert, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. He gets boot to the ball. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. Gray with the kick. Polek with good strong hands. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Pollock kicks for goal. It's hit the post. That's a behind. Would you believe it? Another point. Good Adelaide by five points. Might have to kick it to himself. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Lost with the tap. Going for goal number one. Nice work from Thiebert. The power lead for Saints. Ebert has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Look at that bounce. Longer directs it down. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Has it now. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Need gets the tap. Going for goal number one. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The power. Two goals up. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but the Saints need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Homsch taps it. He picks it up. Need takes possession. Head down, going for goal. Oh, it's hit the post. Tough break. So many points now. They're adding up. Stevens gets set to kick it back in. He opts to play on with the ball. Choose to kick it. He has space for an easy mark. Willard puts it on the boot. A mark by Stephen. Looks like he panicked there. A mark by Webster. Sends it on its way. Boat, the better man there. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Nice work from Mee. Mee. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Gray has a kick. That was horrible. Bad kick. Resulting in a free to the Saints. Stephen feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Willock puts it on the boot. Great mark. Bumps the pigskin. Burn Jones wins the marking contest. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Good tap from me. Pollock is able to grab it on the half volley. Pollock executes the goal well. That's four goals. This lead getting bigger now. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He's excited about that one. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Akers comes in like a wrecking ball. Ebert with a clinical drop pass. Pollock spills it. Burn Jones controls. Caught with the ball. Stephen kicks. Great grab. Longer just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Puts boot to ball. Broadbent with the mark. Nice bit of power then. Polet with the ball. 50 metres out. Kicks. Nice contested mark by Burn Jones. Burn Jones aiming for the goals only a behind far too many points racked up for just one match Port Adelaide by 20 points Stevens waiting for the man to free up kick to himself bumps the pigskin Gresham claims the ball Gresham he's quite plain picking up the ball on the half volley he knocks it down Dixon gets a fist to it. Gray gets onto the ball. He gets boot to the ball. 
The ball mopped up. Guided by Pollock. Taken by Ford Bent. A risky proposition from here. We need a big kick to make the goals. Dixon claims the ball. 15 metres out. Dixon shoots. A goal for Port Adelaide. He sinks his first goal. This kick has extended their lead. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Celebration time after that one for Dixon. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The ball is bounced. Long it really gets onto this one. Squeezes on a handball. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 12 to 10. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Saints are slightly ahead with 19 to 10. After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. You can always rest easy knowing that you gave 100%, win or lose. Burn Jones, got a fist on him. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Boke. Powell Pepper has his head down now. Strong mark. 40 metres out. Well, if you can hand-pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Richo, uh, what can we say about that attempt? I'll tell you what, he hasn't got his kicking boots on. Behind starting to add up for Port Adelaide. Stevens is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. Polek taking aim. He gets boot to the ball. It's a mark. Weller puts his boot on it. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Dixon with the ball. 40 metres out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. You could see that happening right after it left his boot. Well, if the Hines were goal, this team would be very rich by now. Look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Perfect kick. Great making the lead bigger. That's four in a row for Port Adelaide. That could be the final nail in the coffin. He's loving that replay, <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Greg loves that. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Burn Jones. I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Ball up in the centre square. Punch by Longer. Chips it down towards half forward. Billings marks it. Goes up the line. Gilbert gets the mark without contest. A monster kick will be required from here. Out of bounds in the pocket. It's a good throw in. Big thumb from Burn Jones. Jonas with the tap. Deaf touch from Watts. Guided down nicely by Savage. He gathers the loose ball. Certainly that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. Takes control of the bouncing ball. He's really a ball magnet. Chalk up a goal for St Kilda. A badly needed goal from Sinclair. Plenty of time left on the clock. But it will be an uphill battle to close that margin. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal.
Celebration time after that one for Sinclair. Big thump from Longer. Bounces favorably for Jonas. Nice interception. Webster is streaming past and gets the footy. Jams it on the boot now. That kick was asking a bit much of Gilbert. Robertson is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. 45 meters out. He kicks inside 50. Marked by Pinnock. Nunes is able to grab it on the half volley. Sinclair spears the ball. Sinclair just manages to sink it. That's number two. St. Kilda have scored the last two goals. They could close the deal if they keep up the momentum. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. He acknowledges the crowd. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Huge leap. Moves it quickly by hand. Able to grab it on the half volley. He's had lots of touches this match. Good tap from knee. Guided by Dunstan. Guided down nicely by Weller. Webster with the mighty fist. Good tap from Burn Jones. Pollock with the mighty fist. Clean tap by Broadbent. Gets the loose ball. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Would Adelaide get a goal? He'll be happy with goal number two. The power over. The Saints by 28. He's putting on a master class with goals like that. Celebration time after that one for Gray. Both Ruckman had their eyes on the ball. Nice bounce. Tapped by Burn Jones. Wines puts it on the boot. Marks. Puts boot to ball. Ebert has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Ebert can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Longer with the kick. Armitage takes a contested mark. Roberton gets a favourable bounce. Armitage gets possession. He boots it. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Yuri will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Gilbert, the better man there. Going for goal number two. It goes through for a behind. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. The power have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery, their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder St Kildick was starting to fall behind. He kicks the ball, Boak with the spill. The ball is tapped, the ball is scooped up. Palms it down nicely. He's heading for home. Nunes just misses the goal. The biggest danger here is that they'll run out of time to turn this around. Hartlett has a lovely kick on him. If he can utilize that in heavy traffic, he will become crucial to his team's finals ambitions. Armitage heads in for the goals. We'll have a ball up inside the 50. Burn Jones taps it. Jonas gets the tap. The ball mopped up. Tap by Carl Pepper. Low spearing kick. Clean pick up by Weller. Weller aims for his man on the ground. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark. Homsch may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Dunstan kicks it. Boat takes the mark. He's got a hold of that one. He gets it under pressure. Gresham with a kick out of the pack. Nice contested mark by Longer. Gets boot to high. Controlled by Billings. Billings throws it clear as day. Puts boot to ball. He shouldn't have bothered. Billings intercepts it. I can already tell that's not too good. He's injured. Richo, what does it look like to you? The doctor will have to take a look at that one.
Real disappointment for fans of the Saints. Richard, did you enjoy the matchup between the Power and the Saints? Not the prettiest win you'll ever see, but you're only as good as your last game, and they've won that. Plenty to work on, though, for the next game. At the end of the game, the scores are called Adelaide 59, the Saints 33. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richo. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.